and welcome back. We're getting very close to finishing our application and one of the things you may have noticed as you're building out the app is we have an invoice that has a name, a category, and a quantity, but it doesn't have a price. And the reason why I wanted to leave that out was to show you how easy it is to add a column because that's something that you'll find you probably have to do on a pretty regular basis. I know it's uh, it happens to me almost daily where I may forget to have a column or I don't want to put it in there in the beginning and so I think it was important to save this towards the end so that I can show you how to do a database migration by adding a column and so I'm gonna get out of the app right here and come down and I'm going to create a migration and the way you do that is do rails g migration and then in uh, camel case meaning uh, start with the first letter capitalized and then don't do any spaces I'm going to say add price to purchases and this may look kind of weird another way that you could do it that would work perfectly fine is add price to purchases and that's called snake case but I personally for I do it this way mainly because this is the way I've always done it and it just looks right to me so I'm gonna say add price to purchases and then say price decimal okay and let me see that all looks correct yes so hit return and let the migration take place. Okay, so if I wanna see how this looks, I'm gonna click on Enterprise Ape, come down to Database, Migrate, come down to the very bottom, and you can see this whole file was auto-generated. So we have Add Price to Purchases, and the function is gonna be Change, and it's gonna add a column, Purchases, the, to the Purchases table, the name of the column is going to be price and it's going to be a data type of decimal so it's very similar to when we've done any kind of scaffolding this way it's just going to make one change on the database schema file itself so that all worked so now we just have to do rake db migrate and that worked perfect so let's go look at our schema file really quick go down to purchases and there you can see at the bottom we have t dot decimal price so that all worked perfect and so now we'll be able to call that and uh, be like I've shown you several times a way that I like to practice at first is to jump in the console so I'm gonna pick out the very last purchase that we did so I'm gonna say purchase dot last and you can see that it now has price and as price is nil so that's just means that it's empty but uh, that's what we're going to be fixing in the next tutorial we're going to show you exactly how to add that onto the page how to play around with it how to make it look like a real uh, like financial data so it'll have a decimal and a, uh, you know the money sign and all of that kind of thing so I'm going to show you how to coordinate that with the view in the next video but if you went through this nice quick one you now know how to add a column to a database in Rails by performing a migration. So great job and I'll see you in the next video.